Hi, you're right. Welcome to the Alan Kane Daily Blog. Once again, yes, I'm still in black then. I'm just about to go down. Oops, got to be careful what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah. I'll I, I tell you the truth, folks. I've actually um, had this happen. I've actually fallen down the escalator. Um, yeah. And I'll tell you something, it did hurt. <laughs> it did hurt. Um, when I fell. Oh, but the major problem was I did not get it on camera for you folks. Um, but, you know. Alright, here we go. Bloody hell, windy. So, yeah, I'm sorry, but today is going to be a crap vlog. Well, today's uh, multiple videos are going to be crap vlogs. I really am sorry about that. Now I'm just having a walk up. And what I am going to start doing very soon is on... Yeah, it is raining. But I wasn't really prepared to stand in the bus station and that so I'm just walking through the car park this top end car park here which I'm going to go through the edge well apparently Blackburn and Darwin are going to redevelop it yeah I know it's a money maker for them but but as I know of Blackburn and Darwin Council approved uh, planning permission for a, another retail park to be built here, where your is where your where the, where I can where the where I have the camera now. But there is an ulterior motive. Um, the reason why the it, reason why they're doing that is because the f they're threatening the mall, really, um, so that um, if they can get a developer in to redevelop all this, I don't know. I won't. It won't be able to get many. You won't be able to get many units on this. <laughs> you definitely won't be able to get many units on this. But if you like, say, put it on four, five, maybe six floors, maybe it might get them out to wake up and listen to its tenants um, but the building in front Daniel Fuertes' building I've been hearing has been earmarked for uh, housing and the pub over there what used to be the Fleece pub well I don't think um if that gets turned into uh, a housing estate, I don't think I don't think they would approve of what that was going to be. And the Daniel Fuertes Training Centre, I think, is basically going. For what I've heard, it's basically going to be left there, and it's going to be a. A pub. That's what I'm. That's what I've heard anyway. So all the idiots, so-called, will most probably go into there. Yeah, go into there. Do there. Get 
get tanked up and then go across the road and then give the DW pay staff some grief. We'll see what happens. Yeah, so that is going to be turned into an housing estate. The bottom of Lark Hill, the area is up for sale again. What they're going to do with it, I don't know. No idea. The dog unit has just gone out. Yeah. Yeah. So, we'll basically go up. So, yeah. The place down here are not totally useless. <laughs> So I'm gonna go home, go in, put I'm actually gonna boot boot the machine up and see what happens. And uh, I'm actually gonna <laughs> I'm actually gonna push the TV uh, further out and then I'm gonna push it back and uh, see what happens. See what happens to this place. Lancashire Constabulary. Well, what they should really start doing now is merging some of the police forces together. Because that's what they're doing anyway. I think they should merge Lance with GMP. There we go, there's a Virgin Media van just gone past. I'm gonna go home, get in, get, get a notepad out, and uh, take my phone number down, get, take some of my details down, and we're gonna ring Vodafone, and I'm going to uh, start looking for, well, basically, I'm gonna tell them that I'm not happy. Yeah. So, we'll soon see. Well, I'm going to do that tomorrow. I'll go over to see what happens. And, uh, well, I'm basically I'm going to go and look for a new, new company to go with because I'm not happy. I'm totally not happy with Vodafone at all because to be truthful the service I've been getting off them has been crap absolute crap um, like I'm sat there I'm sat there and I go to I go to a lot of places and I generally find especially Southport Especially Southport, the the connections are the, the connections are absolutely abysmal, absolutely abysmal, right? And only place, the only place in in Blackburn that I do get a decent download speed is if I stand out outside the DWP office. I don't know why, but. But that's the only place I seem to get a decent, decent uh, upload download speed. And I don't know why that is. Because I think they I think they've got a, what they call a super fast connection. A lot of government departments do. You know. But there are six people, as I know of, 
on my estate, right? So, I'm just off home. I had a bit of a rant there, but uh, tomorrow I'm going to go public and I'm going to put it on their Facebook, telling them how much of a crap company they are. Right, well I'm going to leave it for now and I hope everybody has a nice day. Be nice to each other folks. Bye.